Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about NRC and STC. Uh, these are confusing terms to a lot of people, and there's some similarity in their definitions, but the key to understanding both is kind of where they overlap. So let's look at NRC. NRC is noise reduction coefficient. It is a rating, okay? It's a rating of how much the sound that a product absorbs, okay? What's our extremes? What's our domain in the rating? Zero, obviously no absorption, and one, which would be 100% absorption. So we're going to have all kinds of values between zero and one. So NRC is a rating system of how much sound a product can absorb, okay? STC is a class of materials. So NRC is a rating, STC is a class of materials that reduce sound going through structures, okay? So it's barrier technology. So it's a class of materials that actually block sound. And of course, the unit of measurement that we use to do that is the dB SPL scale. So it's in decibels and it's a measurement of pressure, okay? So when you're looking through literature, whether you're building a barrier or you're trying to absorb energy within the room, you want to look at the rating of the, the absorption that the product has. So you want to look at the NRC value, the noise reduction coefficient, keeping in mind that music and voice have special requirements. We go through this all the time with people. You know, they want to throw up building insulation. They want to do this. They want to hang blankets. They want to do this, that, or the other. But these are sound absorbing materials that have an NRC rating, but not the rating that's conducive for music and voice. If you go on our website, we've done many, many videos and many articles about this. Music and voice are different. Okay, You can't use standard materials to absorb them in a critical listening, audio working environment. You have to be sensitive to that rate. What's the first thing you want to look for is linearity. We'll discuss that in another video. Let's go back to this STC, sound transmission class. It's a class of materials that we have to use when we're trying to inhibit the amount of energy from one source getting into our room, which we are the receiver. So we want to use the right materials that have the right STC, sound transmission class rating, to stop the frequency and amplitude of the sound. That's why I'm always, always, always preaching measure, measure, measure. So if we don't know what we're dealing with, we can't choose the right class of materials or the, re the that have the proper STC to deal with the noise. Then what happens? We build the structure and it doesn't work. Here's the problem with that. We can't fix it sometimes. We have to tear it down. And that's the last thing you want to do. It's hard on your budget, <laughs> obviously. Okay. It's hard on a lot of things. So you want to get it right. So we want to measure, 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 and then build once. So that's why when we offer our, um, sound and noise or our noise and treatment uh, design services we have that seven day noise time study because that helps us when we look at the frequency and amplitude of the noise that helps us pick a product that has the right sound transmission class rating nrc stc hope this helps uh, a lot of confusion out there about it thank you thank you for watching this video and if you liked it please give us a thumbs up we also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.